Mom, you're gonna say this is gross. What's up out there? Guess what we're doing today? Bottom bouncers. So these are a little different. <coughs> these, uh, you can't get to fit underneath of the uh, melting pot. So we've got to use a ladle. And it can be a little difficult, but we're gonna we're gonna tackle it. Got my my lead all melted here, ready to go. Just gonna clean off the top a little bit. So another thing uh, I've noticed as well is. If you got a little motor oil laying around and you take and you just kind of dab it on the hinges, it keeps the hinges oiled up. You don't need any special kind of oil for this. Just get you some like 1030 or 30 weight or 20 weight oil. That'll be efficient enough to keep this lubed up. Yeah, she works real good. You can also do that to like your, you can put a little bit of oil on your, uh, the, the rods that you got to pull out for like uh, your sinkers, egg sinkers and stuff. You can, you can put a little oil on those, keep oiling every so often, and that'll help you be able to pull them out a little easier. It doesn't help too much, but sometimes they, after you've been pouring, pulling them out pour they get pretty hot and they uh they will stick so and they get hard to pull out so if you put a little oil on them then you can get a couple more pour, pours out of them and then do do the oil again and it'll smoke but it's all right it ain't gonna hurt nothing so i've got my my, my do it mold here and these are kind of difficult to set especially all of them at the same time So, you know, if you got to do just one at a time, then do so. Whatever makes it easier for you. I don't like doing it one at a time. I like trying to get them all done at the same time. It probably is the same speed either way. Because by the time you get done messing with them and getting them set where they're supposed to be, and they do like to slide, so obviously you don't want your your weight way up yonder. Oh, see, I missed one. Like I said, I literally, it is kind of a pain in the ass to, to pour this. More than one at a time. But here we go. Didn't pour too bad. And there's a two ounce. There's a two ounce bottom bouncer. 
So, like I said, it's not super difficult. Just get you some bottom bouncer wire. That's hot, don't touch that. Get your bottom bouncer wire. Get your bottom bouncer mold. And there you go. We're gonna do a couple more. And you guys can kinda just watch a little bit. And then we'll uh, If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh oh, I hear my daughter. Huh? You gonna talk to the camera? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Boy, that one just does not want to work. And my mold's not warm, huh? That don't look healthy. She's sitting there. I have a pretty good feeling that didn't work either, but hopefully it did. Nope. Aha! There we go. So you can kind of see where you know I've had to I had to pour a couple times, but it's still going to work. It's not going to fall off there. It's pretty good shape. So, so obviously this process of of uh, you know pouring these, it takes a while. I can only do one at a time. I could probably maybe do two if I tried hard enough, I guess. But they're just, they move around a lot in there. So pouring more than one at a time is not really working out that well. Uh, the, the mold does cool off. It's probably best to pour like however many you're going to do of that ounce, 
then move on to the next one. That way that portion of the mold stays warm because going through them, obviously it's cooling off too fast. So I have one more to make of the quarter ounce and I'll probably stick with the quarter ounce, make five of those, and then I'm gonna make four of the rest of them. That way I can kind of stick with the same mold and it stays warm. But yeah, I think you guys got the gist of it. Uh, you guys got any other questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the, leave them below. Uh, if you guys have a better way of doing this, please, by all means, let me know. Uh, I'm still learning it myself. This is the best way I know of doing it right now. Um, so yeah, let me know if you got a better way of doing it. I know I can't get it to fit underneath there, so that's a little bit of a problem. I do have this that I could probably heat up and use that to pour but I feel like that it, they're still going to hit the, the wood that it's sitting on and probably be in the same boat I am now. So I think this is probably the best way I've got so far to do it. But hey, we're making stuff. It's cool. So yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you for the, to the subscribers who have subscribed. And uh, if you got any comments, concerns, leave them below. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.